Hi, and thanks for stopping by. My name's Larry Weinstein, and I'm both the CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com. And today I wanted to answer the question, are there any fees associated with entering into an installment agreement with the IRS? And the answer to that question is yes, there's, there's one of two fees that's going to be involved. And that's fees that are paid to the IRS. These aren't fees maybe paid to a professional that you're working with, but these are IRS fees. The first fee would be if you have what I would call a traditional installment agreement where they send you statements on a monthly basis for the specified amount and you have to write a check and send it back to the IRS on a monthly basis by the agreed upon date, what I would call a traditional installment agreement, the fee for that is $105 for establishing that type of installment agreement. It's a one-time fee. Uh, they'll take it out of your first payment or they'll add it onto your account. The second fee would be a situation where you enter into what's known as a direct debit installment agreement. A direct debit installment agreement is basically where you give the IRS your bank account and your routing information and they are, uh, you agree to let them draft your account on a monthly basis for the agreed upon amount on the agreed upon date. That's called a direct debit installment agreement and the fee to establish that is only $52. So if you get a traditional installment agreement, it's $105. If you get a direct debit installment agreement, the fee to the IRS is $52. So that answers today's question, are there any fees associated with getting an installment agreement? Thanks for stopping by and hope to see you again real soon.